Hello and welcome to the first Wider Horizon review time where I'm looking at this, the Roller Mouse Red by Contour. And yes, I know it looks really strange and different, but Contour really want to help make your life easier. And that's why they've got this, because not only are there extra buttons, it should be more comfortable for your hand than a normal mouse. But will it actually replace my normal mouse? I've been using this thing for a while now, and I'm going to review it for you properly. And we're going to start with the packaging. As far as boxes go, this is pretty standard. You've got a picture of the roller mouse red on the front showing its usual setup, and you've got the logo in the top left corner, as well as the company logo in the bottom left corner. Flipping the box over, you actually see the product in use, and you see the special button for the quick and easy cursor speed selection. You also see that this will fit any keyboard. Also, you see the roller mouse being used without the wrist rest, and I don't think you should do that. It looks uncomfortable, so keep it on. Also, to open this box, it uses magnets, and I like that. That is a very, very nice touch. And opening the box, you see the roller mouse as expected. But let's take a closer look at everything else in the box. Now that everything is out of the box, let's take a look at each item a little bit closer. You have the user guide, but you don't really need that, so you can just move that along if you wish. You have two short and two long keyboard risers, and these make sure your keyboard is level with your roller mouse. There is a key, so you can take the wrist rest off the roller mouse like the purse on the back of the box, so don't do that. And of course, you've got the roller mouse red itself. You've got the black bar across the top, which controls the cursor which is also clickable by the way, and you've got a nice padding for the wrist rest, which is actually quite soft, which is why I advise not taking it off. And you've got the logos of the company and the product on either corner of this as well. And it's a good size, so it shouldn't feel too out of place on your normal work surface. And as you expect, you've got all your usual buttons, such as your left click and your right click, and also your wheel. But what really makes this mouse different and stand out is the fact that you've got your double click button, so no more having to left click twice, you can just hit that button once, so it saves you a tiny bit of time at least. Another great feature of this mouse is the copy and paste buttons, saving some precious time. Okay, maybe not that precious, but saving you a little bit of time as well. And finally, you've got your cursor speed button, which we mentioned just a little bit earlier. And that would literally just be doing what it says in the tin, really. It would be either speeding up or slowing down your mouse. The best way to really describe the roller mouse is like the best parts of a trackpad from a laptop combined with the best parts of your normal mouse. To set up the roller mouse, simply plug it in via USB. You know there's power running through the device when the lights flash up. And it completely depends on your type of keyboard and what you're using. I'm personally using an Apple iMac keyboard, so I'm using the short risers to make sure this is the perfect fit for my roller mouse. And they simply slot into the back of the roller mouse and the keyboard fits nicely on top. In total, there are five different speed settings that you can select from. There's also a Mac and Windows mode, and you can change between the two by holding the copy and paste button until the light flashes. And this is the final setup of your roller mouse. Okay, I'm now going to talk about my roller mouse red experience and I've been using this product for a while now. I normally edit videos and that kind of thing. So I'm always on my computer and I found this thing very difficult to use to start with because my muscle memory makes me want to go from my mouse. I decided to keep trying to use the Roller Mouse Red because I thought the novelty of it was quite fun, to be honest. Because it's so different, I wanted to use it. And then once the novelty wore off, I was used to the Roller Mouse. At first, the trickiest thing was the positioning of my arms on it because I didn't really know how to use it properly. And I felt like I did have to just relearn my computer. Trying to reach the keyboard was very difficult and sometimes when I'm hitting the space bar I'm accidentally hitting the black bar as well and left clicking which can be a little bit problematic. But after a while it kind of gets comfortable and you get very used to how to use it and Contour do say that it's designed this way on purpose because it's ergonomic. So therefore a 60 year old me should be thanking me because I haven't got my hand clamped around my normal mouse. 
And I do feel that I could probably edit for longer using the roller mouse than a normal mouse. However, saying that, this is a very specialist product and you're only going to want to use this if you're using a computer for a really long time every day because that's where the benefits are really going to come in. At the end of the day, the roller mouse is a product that has kind of won me over. The additional buttons make life a little bit easier, but it's not saving time drastically. And it is quite comfortable to use once you've learned how to use the product properly. And initially, you might think it looks a bit weird, but after using it, you realize that the layout is actually pretty good. And if you had to reinvent the mouse, then this is a pretty good attempt. There are some key positives to point out here. One being, it benefits some people because some people might not be able to use an ordinary mouse so having the roller mouse makes computers more accessible also the design of it is healthier on your hands which is an ongoing benefit the extra buttons they help save a little bit of time and that is a nice feature and also once you get used to using the product it is quite comfortable in the end also there are some negatives for example, you do need to relearn how to use your computer, whether it's your hand positioning on the roller mouse or just not to reach out right for your mouse. Also, this product is quite a specialist. You're only going to use this if your working life is on a computer or if you happen to use a computer for very long periods of time. Also, this product is quite costly. It is over £250. So you're only going to buy this if you know it's going to benefit you and is therefore not for the casual computer user. So, is this going to replace my normal mouse? Not completely. I do like the ordinary mouse, there's something simple and easy about it, but for the most part, the roll mouse is good and I will be using it. Anyway, that's enough from me. I hope you like this episode of Wide Horizon Review Time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.